Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're actually talking about Major Von Reg's tie. That's right. I'm finally getting around to doing it. And if you're curious why the background is a little bit crazy today, it's because my McClunky shirt actually has green in it. And believe it or not, I don't actually have crazy things behind me. It's a green screen. And thus, the McClunky shirt doesn't play well with green screens. So I figured I would use a green background to emphasize the McClunky in the McClunky shirt because that's crazy. Anyway, uh, so yes, I have been saying that I was going to get around to talk about Major Von Reg's tie, so I figured I will do that. And I also do want to remind you guys, definitely be sure to check out LuxuryPlayStyle.com. Be sure to use code Crabbuck VIP if you did not get what you want for Christmas. This is the perfect opportunity to go out there and pick up some amazing tokens. They're double sided, they're heavy, they're beautiful. They come in three different finishes, and you can also use these as gift ideas. They have gift certificates, gift cards. Um, I would say they're great stocking stuffers, but for I think most of us, that season has passed already. At this point, it's also good uh, to tell your local stores that if they're looking for different prize support alternatives, these make for amazing prizes. So if they're looking to have a fancy luxury tournament where you can win stuff, that's an option for them to do. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the preview we got today for Major Von Reg's tie. But, dude... T85s, right? I mean, they're drawing T85s for us. How many of you guys think we're getting T85s here pretty soon? Pretty soon, right? Maybe wave eight? I'm I'm guessing that we're going to see them. I mean, they were also in, I think there were a couple of them in Rise of Skywalker. I think there were, I think I spotted a few T85s in there. So I think, uh, I think it's definitely something that we're going to see more of. And uh, I'm really curious to see how they do a T85 in this game. But I don't want to get too much into speculating about T85s. I just like seeing them in the art, and uh, it's a beautiful print, too. I love the artists that they commission. So, yes, um, so we get a look at uh, Major Von Reg's time. You know, I, I mean, we've seen this ship before. Uh, I just do want to point out it is a beautiful ship, and it's going to basically be very much like an interceptor, but better, I think, than uh, an interceptor. It does not have the one straight, uh, but its ones are all blue. Um, it's got a lot of twos. It's got the S loop on the two, and it's got a couple of blues for the two. Uh, it's got the three straight blue. It's got the four straight blue. It's got a uh, five straight white and a 5K turn. So it has the 5K turn and then the two S loops. So it's got a little bit of turning around ability. Um, it has a ton of maneuverability on this dial. So it's really going to just burn. It's going to go all over the place. So I like that. Uh, as far as the ship itself, we'll start with our initiative three. First order provocateur. And uh, really nice little asteroid base kind of behind there. I kind of, you know, there's a lot of stuff. I think if you've watched the show Star Wars Resistance, you're going to see a lot of stuff from this. Um, the ship has focus, evade, target lock, barrel roll, and boost. So this thing can do it all, uh, or virtually all of it. It's got three attack, primary front arc. It's got three defense, It's or three agility. It's got two hull and two shields. So it's going to be able to take a little bit. And, uh, yeah, and it's got a built-in ability as well, fine-tuned thrusters. After you fully execute a maneuver, if you are not depleted or strained, you may gain one deplete or strain token to perform a target lock or barrel roll action. Super cool. It's not letting you boost in that case. However, you could then, you know, boost after one of those. Maybe. Uh, but, yeah, so... Uh, so I like that you know it's got three uh, three attack and three you know three red and three green, so it's good for all of those. But depending on where you move, it's again it's after you fully execute a maneuver. If you know you're going to be shooting and you're not getting shot at, that tells you which token to take, right? Because again, a blue maneuver clears a depleter strain, so that's nice. Um, and uh, you know, if you are going to be shot and maybe you don't have a shot, you know then. You know, they, they basically, you know what you want to take, uh, or maybe you just, if you're not sure, you don't take either of them. 
Uh, and that's totally okay. But there's a lot of things that are going to be working with deplete and strain. Uh, so it's definitely a, a, a new mechanic that's uh, you know going to see a lot more use, I think, based on the stuff that we've seen in, uh, in, in the next wave previews that have come out, as well as the rest of this expansion. So we've got at initiative four, we've got Ember. And uh, Ember is the Dying Flame. His ability reads, while you perform an attack, if there is a damaged ship friendly to the defender at range zero of or one of the defender, the defender cannot spend focus or calculate tokens. So uh, basically what they're saying is if there's, you know, he's not going to be as good if he's going against somebody by themselves. But if, you know, if they're if they're swarming together and somebody's damaged nearby, uh, then your defender can't spend focus or calculate tokens. Now, this one's just a weird kind of ability to wrap your head around because when I look at this, I think, well, why wouldn't I want to go for you know the the damaged ship right like it, it, usually i like to concentrate my fire on the same ship get, take a ship off the board but ember is all about spreading out the damage you know he wants to watch everybody burn at the same time right but he gets a, he gets an advantage for that especially um you know now granted if nobody's got focus or calculate tokens to begin with then by all means just concentrate on the on the damaged ship but he Ember really benefits off of mechanics that are going to spread out damage. He wants everybody to be damaged, so this way nobody, you know, as long as they're close together, uh, he wants them all to catch fire, so to speak. You know, I, th I think that's kind of what's going on there. So that's pretty cool. And he's Initiative 4. At Initiative 5, we see Hollow, the Trick of the Light. And we saw Hollow in the live stream, but uh, if you, to refresh your memory, Hollow's ability is... At the start of the engagement phase, you must transfer one of your tokens to another friendly ship at range zero to two. Must is the keyword here. You must transfer one of your tokens. Now, it doesn't say what type of token. So you can transfer any type of token you like. You can give a focus. You know, that's great. Or, you know what? Hey, man, I can't. I, I, I don't want to. I have a great shot. I don't want to, you know, keep this deplete that I've got. Here, you don't have a shot. I'm going to give you the deplete. You know, you have a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of choice in this ship. And in, in, in all of the pilots, there's a lot of choice that's represented. So this is a ship that's giving you a lot of choice. So um, this one, although you don't, you know, you, you, you have to at least, um, you know, have done, you know, have, you have to have a token to transfer. Now, the cool thing is you could target lock. And this was also, I guess this is also a way for you to potentially be able to take a target lock and then transfer the token, um, you know, to another uh, to another ship. I can't, I mean, well, no, you don't get a blue token for target lock anymore. That's a 1.0 thing. See, I still get uh, old 1.0 things, so I don't think you'd be able to transfer a target lock uh, because there's no blue target lock token anymore. Um, but yeah, so uh, you take an evade. You can give an evade to a ship that can't take it. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting things that you could, in theory, do here. <clears throat> Major Von Reg, the Red Baron. So Major Von Reg is initiative six, so he's going to be, you know, ace play all, all day. Um, his ability reads, during the system phase, you may choose one enemy ship in your bull's eye. That ship gains one deplete or strain token of your choice. So that's nice. Um, it's it's during the system phase, so that's going to be before they move. But they've already set their dials. So if you happen to line up multiple ships, and now don't forget your initiative six, so you're going to be moving last. So you'll be able to barrel roll or boost and line this ability up for next turn because it's going to be before they move. Uh, during that system phase, you can choose one enemy ship in your bullseye. So you, the, I think the the real the real mind game here is if you're able to line up multiple ships in your bullseye arc, and then they don't know which one's going to get it. So then they both have to plot maybe blue maneuvers to try to clear the deplete or strain token. It gives you a, a, a ton of ways to just mess with people and kind of give you a little bit, hopefully, a little bit more predictability of what type of moves they're going to do. So that's really cool, and that also helps your lower level. Uh, ships, you know, hopefully predict where they're going to go and uh, kind of, you know, you can run just him and then a whole bunch of generics and then hopefully the generics will be able to have better predictions and either block or or line up better shots. Um, we have the deuterium power cells. Mm, bring me my deuterium. But, sir, we have very few left. Do it now. All right, so the... 
Uh, this is going to require a tech and a modification, and you have to be first order. has two charges, and you're going to be getting shields back with this card. So it says, During the system phase, you may spend one charge and gain one disarm token to recover one shield before you would gain one non-lock token. If you are not stressed, you may spend a charge to gain one stress token instead. So uh, it gives you two different things that you can do with it. Um, again, the, the, easy, the most popular use, I think, is going to be to recover a shield. It's basically going to be two extra shields for you, um, which is really good for a ship that is relying on green dice, and now all of a sudden you don't really have to rely on the green dice quite so much because you've got... Uh, you know, possibly two extra shields out of it with this thing, and uh, before you would gain a non-lock token. Um, so basically, if somebody's going to try to maybe jam you, or if somebody is going to try to uh, tractor you, I think this is a good one where you can be like, "Oh, you're going to tractor me? I don't think so. I'll take a stress instead. That's no problem." You know, and and we've got you've got some blue. Um, so we have, I think this is a seamstress. I think she's got a needle and thread here. I'm not really sure what exactly is going on in this artwork. Like at first I thought she had a cup of coffee in her hand. But then I'm thinking, well, this looks like episode eight when they, you know, they broke into like the irons and were ironing the uniforms and stuff. And like, is the machine like getting ready to kill her and she just get dressed and the machine th is thinks, thinks she's a uniform and is going to, you know, stab her in the back with an iron. I have no idea what, but then I looked at it I'm like, well, maybe she's sewing, maybe she's sewing her uniform. Maybe. Um, so, uh, for setup, and this is a talent, uh, equip this side face up while you have two or fewer stress tokens, you may perform focus actions even while stressed. After you perform an attack, if you are stressed, the defender may spend one focus token to, or suffer a critical damage to flip this card. So you're giving your opponent the ability to flip this card. And, of course, when they, when they flip it, it's a false tradition. You treat your focus actions as red. So I'm not really sure I'm, I'm super crazy about this one. Um, I mean, granted... Um, after you perform an attack, if you're stressed, right? Uh, so you you want this on a on somebody who can clear stress, definitely. Like so, I'm I'm thinking, you know, well, of course we probably want on who well, who can get rid of tokens, right? Um, Hollow, Hollow can do this. He could, you know, he can take it. He's like, oh, I need to I need, I, I need to get rid of this uh, token, but I also want to, you know, I want to perform this uh, focus action. You know, that's fine. He can get he can get rid of those tokens and in time to shoot. And then there we go. Um, but the thing is, if you've got two stress tokens and you do a focus action, I, I mean, granted, this is a ship that wants the focus action, but I mean, goodness, um, if you are stressed, the defender may spend a focus token to flip it or suffer a critical damage. Now, granted, if they got a shield, that critical damage is just going to go to a shield. So why wouldn't they? I mean, to turn all your focus actions red, that's that's rough. Um you know, I feel like this is, uh, I don't know if I would want all my focus actions to be red. Unless, of course, I had, you know, a chained, you know, something that chained into a red focus already. And then it wouldn't be a big deal. So I feel like this might even be, like, False Tradition or, or Proud Tradition might even be a card that's better on certain other ships. But, uh, but it's first order only. So it does kind of restrict where it can and cannot go. So that is, I think, everything that they showed us in the preview today. So yeah, just thought, uh, I had been saying I wanted to get around to it, so we have talked about it, and I, well, I expect we'll probably get a fireball preview either next week or the week after. So uh, we'll get a little more, a little more information on the fireball before wave six hits, and then it's the countdown to wave seven. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. There is a new round of the giveaway going on right now. I should announce the winner for this next week. And that's for a $25 Amazon gift card. If you're interested in entering to win that, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I want to thank my patrons as well as all of you. Uh, you guys are all amazing. And my patrons, you definitely help make this all possible. So thank you so much for your continued support. And as always, have a great day.